At a time when food prices are skyrocketing and our society is vulnerable to disruptions in our food supply, more people are turning to growing their own. Growing food is not new, so the good news is that there are now many excellent books available to the novice grower. Two things these books agree on is the importance of soil fertility and that it often takes years to make soil fertile enough to grow quality vegetables and to produce a decent harvest. Well, not anymore. Make room on your bookshelf for a DVD that will show you how to create an organic farm or garden on even the worst soil in as little as one day. You're probably thinking, that's impossible. And using conventional methods, you'd be right. Hi, I'm Martin Adams. I've been experimenting with unconventional food growing techniques for 45 years. Here's an experiment I did 20 years ago on the island of Cyprus. The spinach on the left was the experiment. The spinach on the right was the control. The same with the peas. And here's some of the 4,000 pounds of food I grew in the sandy Arizona desert in 2013 using an improved version of the same experiment. I'm so sure that my instant organic farm system will transform your land no matter how poor your soil, that I offer a 365 day money back guarantee on this DVD. So you have a full year to give my system a fair try. If I did this in the Arizona desert, imagine what you will do. And imagine how this system could impact food production if practiced on a global scale. We face a worldwide food shortage, partly because our human population grows faster than our food production. Climate and other natural and man-made factors will continue to affect harvests. So what can we do? The solution isn't new technology, but rather the conversion of non-producing marginal lands into organic farms using the instant organic farm system, which uses existing technologies and resources more efficiently. Marginal lands account for thousands of square miles just in the USA, which could be transformed rapidly into food producing farms. What are we waiting for?